Hi there, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how I share and work on DaVinci Resolve projects between different machines. My main workstation is a Mac Studio, which I'm using now. However, there are times when I want to do some editing on my MacBook Air, perhaps while relaxing on the couch. Without the hassle of setting up a network project server, using the cloud, or exporting projects, here is a simple way to achieve this. On the main machine, I have two folders on the desktop. The Resolve Projects is where I keep the local project databases. And Resolve Cache is the working folder used by DaVinci Resolve. The footage is stored in an external SSD drive, T7 Shield. Open the DaVinci Resolve. In the Project Manager, I will add a new project library in the Resolve Projects folder I created on the desktop. Create a folder for the new project library, My Test. Enter a name for the connected library. I use the same name as the folder I created for the project library. Create a new project, name it Test. Open the Preferences window and change the media storage to the Resolve Cache folder on the desktop. Additionally, ensure the Project Backup folder is set to the Resolve Cache folder. Open the Project Settings, confirm that all working folders are also set to the Desktop Cache folder. Go to the Media page, Add some videos from the external SSD drive. For the demo, let's add a couple of clips to the timeline. Close DaVinci Resolve. Turn on file sharing on Mac OS, so that I can access the project on the MacBook Air. Open System Settings. Click General. Sharing. Turn on file sharing. Make sure to enable the option to allow full disk access for all users. Add folder resolve projects. OK, now the setup is done on the main machine. And on the MacBook Air, open the Finder settings, check the Connected Servers option to show the shared items on the desktop. Create a Resolve Cache folder on the desktop. Open the Finder. Go to the network. Click the Mac Studio and connect with the account and password used on the Mac Studio. Open the Resolve Project folder to ensure it's mounted on this machine. It will add a shared volume icon on the desktop. Click to open the footage drive, so that it's also available on the desktop. Now I have the same folders as I set up on the main machine. By checking the shared folders on the desktop, I can determine whether or not the project is available for editing on my MacBook Air. Open DaVinci Resolve. In the Project Manager, add a library and connect to the one in the shared folder, the one I just created on the Mac Studio. Also name the connected library My Test. Now I can see the project created on the Mac Studio, open the project. Go to the Preference window, change storage and working folders to the desktop cache folder, just like I did on the main machine. Also confirm the project backup folder is set to the desktop cache folder. Let's make some changes on the timeline. For example, adding the title. Trimming the clips. 
Sometimes I found that the playback is choppy on the MacBook Air, due to Wi-Fi file sharing speed. In this case, I would eject the SSD media source drive from the main machine, and connect it to my laptop directly. Close DaVinci Resolve. Go back to the Mac Studio. In DaVinci Resolve, open the same project. Now I can see the changes I just made on the MacBook. Alright, that's all for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.